Hello, everyone. Okay. I hopefully have everything all nice and set up. I need to turn off this. I need to turn on this. I made a last minute switch, actually, during the lead up to the stream. Uh, we were going to do a different story. And then School of Secrets really jumped out at me. I wanted I wanted something that was like, kind of like Kill My Love. All, all these stories, like romance competitions are big in the episode game. And I wanted something that sounded like it was a little more intense. I almost did uh, one that was, I think it was just uh, find, find Your Man, Win a Million Dollars or something like that. Uh, but we're doing this instead. If you uh, have not seen my episode streams, that's understandable because I last did one uh, f three or four years ago. I don't know that Skeletor is going to be here again. We'll find out. Yes. So episode is a mobile game. It's like a choose your own story adventure. Um, and that's really it. That's really it. The stories are great, very, uh, dramatic and, you know, uh, engaging. This one here is, was written by Regina. You guys might know of R uh, Regina from authors, uh, in a prep school for the rich and famous scandals await you. What happens when school's most irresistible heartthrobs want to make you theirs, will you uncover secrets? I don't know. I'm sure hoping so. Now, one other thing to note is that uh, alerts, I'm sure you can already tell, are muted. Um, I'm not going to have as much time as normal to read all of these, uh, because I, my voice, I have to save my voice for reading literally every word <laughs> of the story. But I would like to thank Coloring Book Dog, Mo Chicken, Wicked Whisper, SGS 404, Utman 1988, Avdo Deluxe, Ray Zero, Scr uh, Scampy Pants, Leighton Rampa, Over There 4, Orbit Dragon, and Boogie Elephant. For the resubs and Muja Bunny, thank you so much for the bits. Let's not waste any more time. Are you guys ready? Are you all settled in and ready for a nice uh, story? Or I, it could not be nice. I mean, none of the people on the cover look very nice. School of Secrets, they all kind of look rude, honestly. Um. I guess I'm going to try and do voices. I literally have not done a voice since the last episode's stream, so we'll ju we're just going to figure it out as we go. And so starts the School of Secrets. Okay, what, what do we think about this? Mystery? You guys hear that music? Does that sound mysterious? There we go. When I came to this school, I knew I had to find the answers to my questions. Questions like, what dark secrets lurk beneath this school's prim exterior? Oh shit. What choices would I make in love? And most importantly, how would I survive this school for an entire year? Ooh. Uh, well, I'd like to date guys. Oh, yeah. Those guys specifically. <laughs> You'd like to date guys, correct? No, I made a mistake. Yes, please. 
This story has multiple love interests. Uh, yep. Oh, customize. I feel like I should just leave them. I don't, I don't want that kind of power. Their eyeballs are really like high definition. Um, I guess Nick and Garrett are gonna be our two love interests. I'm done. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm done customizing my love interests. So what's your name? Oh shit. <laughs> Yan Shade, uh, the second. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Would you like to customize your character's features? Nah, I look great. I look great. This is a premium hairstyle MC. Oh. Looks stunning. Okay, this is another thing about episode. A lot of the choices, especially the good choices, you have to pay gems. Um, I feel like I should. I feel like I should outshine everyone. And I have 56 gems. This costs 19. I think I am going to outshine everyone in an exclusive premium look. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Perfection. My strange father is sitting inside this restaurant. After t was Yan Shade British? She probably was. After ten years of silence, he suddenly summoned me to dinner at the fanciest place in all of Manhattan. I haven't lived with my father since I was a child, but after a first-class plane ride, I am moments away from reuniting with him. His money, his luxury, these fancy restaurants are like a different world to me. Entering this restaurant was like entering the world of the rich, powerful, and elite. You know, Ian Shade, when you agreed to come, I was delighted. I've waited my whole life to be a, a present parent for you. You seem... Skeptical. Buying me a plane ticket and taking me to a fancy restaurant isn't going to make me trust you. I know you didn't just call me here to catch up. So what do you want? Now I know your life is I know life has been hard for you, but that's how your mother wanted it to be. I wish things were easier for her, but sadly, she didn't want my help. But I want you to have a chance at a better life. What is that supposed to mean? I got you a little present. What is this supposed to be? <gasps> Why does this paper say I got accepted at St. Sebastian? I had heard whispers, but didn't know too much about St. Sebastian. That school belonged to the elite and famous. The one thing I do know is that, the on that only the most powerful people go there. Because I applied for you. I haven't seen you in ten years, and now you think you can make my decisions for me? Why would I ever go to a stuck-up prep school like this? You're a bright girl, but you aren't living up to your full potential. I was once as rebellious and wild as you are, but St. Sebastian shaped me into the young man I am today. How old? Is this our dad? How old is this? Into the young man I am today. Do you think that's going to convince me? No, but I know what will. I never wanted you to be my illegitimate daughter, but your mother wanted no part of my... Wait, I never wanted you to be my illegitimate daughter, but your mother wanted no part of my money or my world. But you're old enough to make your own decisions now, and I want you to know that becoming an official 
the second is on the table. Okay, last name choice may be not great. I want you to be a real part of my family, Ian Shade. And if you attend St. Sebastian for an entire year, I'll give you access to your full inheritance. Is this a little too spooky? The spooky music is still still playing. I guess it's fine. Mom and I are so close to losing our apartment. With money like this, I can keep us from being evicted. And I can even move us into the nicest part of our town. We would never have to worry about money again. Um... I'm gonna play it cool. Fine, if it's really that important to you, I'll go to St. Sebastian. You're making the right choice. And there's one last thing. St. Sebastian is a boarding school. I pulled a few strings to get you a room last minute. <gasps> You're sending me away to boarding school? I thought you wanted to spend time with me, but you're just shipping me off. But that's not true. I'm doing this because it'll be better for your future. Stop lying. Oh, there, there we go. Wait, Ian Shade? Uh, hold on. Let's go dramatic. What was I even expecting from him? Omg, um, it's freezing out here. Oh me gosh. I shouldn't have run out of the restaurant without a coat. <laughs> Dumb bitch. I don't want to go back inside and face my dad. I don't even know where he lives. I really have nowhere to go. Oh hey. Who is that? Suddenly, a boy appears from the alleyway. Uh, even in under the dim light, I could make out his perfectly sculpted features. He was the epitome of a bad boy, dressed in leather with an aura of danger. Um, wh what does a bad boy sound like? If you loiter out here, the maitre d' will kick you out. What? Is this guy serious? Aren't you loitering too? I... When he notices the tears and anger on my face, his features soften into a look of concern. Let's go romance. Romance. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Usually, crying out alone in the cold doesn't mean you're okay. Do you? Do you ever just expect too much out of people? Dude, you're- he's sending you to the rich-ass boarding school and giving you your inheritance. What- what more do you expect? What more do you want? No matter how much I'm broken down, I keep expecting the world to be a kind place. I learned to expect the worst out of people, and I'm usually right. Why expect the best out of people when they'll only let you down? I don't believe that everyone out there is bad. Well, maybe not everyone. I stand there, trying to act cool. It wasn't like a really cute guy caught me in the middle of a total mental breakdown, right? Are you sure you're okay? You're shivering. Yes. I'm just not used to this weird weather. Well, you're already shivering. You're gonna catch a cold. Do you want my jacket? <laughs> Only if you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. 
Do you think I'll let a cute girl freeze? Oh shit. Oh shit. Here. Let me put it on. I can't believe he's giving me his jacket. He turns me around, putting his jacket around my shoulders. His hand slightly grazes my shoulder while he does it, but he still doesn't shy away. Oh shit, zoom in. How is that? Warm already? When our eyes connect, I feel a jolt of electricity run through my entire body. His presence is mysterious and guarded, but he seems oddly tender in this moment, almost protective. I know nothing about him, but I cannot fight the feeling that we have some sort of connection. <laughs> now you'll get cold. It's worth it to protect a beautiful girl from the cold. I can't keep this. Then let's say you're borrowing it. Tonight, you can let my jacket keep you warm. And it can give us a reason to meet again. His jacket is warm and cozy and I'd love to see him again! I'd love to- see you have to- I have to pay 19 gems so I don't reject the mysterious hottie. I don't think we should have done the hair- we're gonna run out of gems. We're gonna run out of gems in the first chapter. This is like a 15 chapter story. I mean, I can't reject him, obviously. I'd love to keep your jacket. How can I bring it back to you? We'll run into each other again. I'm sure of it. Not creepy. Call it a feeling. Or call it fate. Or I put an air tag in my jacket and I can now track you. One of the three. See you soon, stranger. Zip. Yeah, and Shade, there you are. Uh, not romance. Gotta change. Uh, how about happy? She's pretty happy now. Why did you just run away? Whatever is bothering you, we can talk about it. Let's go home. Did you bring my jacket? Where the fuck is my jacket? Two days had passed, but my dad and I didn't talk about it, and now I will be at St. Sebastian on Monday. Don't know what surprises await me there. I wore the mysterious stranger's jacket to sleep both nights leading up to my departure. The jacket and the reminder of the sweet gesture kept me warm throughout the night. As we got on the road, an awkward silence settles in the car. I love how they stay. I love how they do cars. I love how they don't have any other position, <laughs> but standing straight up. Um, it looks like they're doing donuts. Uh, did you talk to your mother? Yeah. I know this isn't what you expected, but trust me, New York City will be too overwhelming for you. And this is the time for you to focus on your future. St. Sebastian will help you do that. Um, I mean, none of these are really great. So I guess you think you know what's best for me? As your father, who you've never met before, yeah, I do. It's all because I want to see you happy. Before you arrive at school, I want to warn you. This school is filled with decades-old secrets, ones you shouldn't get involved in. Just keep your nose down. Why are you sending me here? Decades-old secrets? 
Despite his warnings, I found myself intrigued by these secrets at St. Sebastian. If my father was too scared to involve himself with these mysteries, then maybe I would uncover them for myself. Really? Where'd the jacket go? We're here, Ian Shade. Here goes. This is St. Sebastian High? Uh, what's good? Yeah, that's fine. That can keep going. Why is it right in the middle of the woods? Oh, there's so many people. I take a look around the massive premises. Rich parents, rich kids. It overwhelms me to even imagine myself with them. I'm going to look at the dorm registration. Stay here or look around. I'll be back. Okay. I'm really dressed for my first day at school, huh? As my father leaves, I feel like a fish. I don't know if I'll fit in here. Oh shit! Oh, that's why we were wearing just a shirt. Ow! Watch it! This is a different guy, right? I'm sorry. Holy she! Ho holy sh bleep! I feel like I just banged my head against a brick wall. I look up and find a tall and muscular guy towering above me, making me feel smaller than I am. Then I look at his clothes stained with coffee. <laughs> yep. Finally, I look up at his eyes. You? Okay, that's I thought it was the same guy. I should have I should have customized the guys because the only difference is their hair color. Uh you know. What are you doing here? Do you go here? Now I do. You shouldn't be here. What a jerk. What happened to the sweet guy who offered his jacket? If this is how everyone's attitude is at this school, I wouldn't last here a month. Uh, here's Nick. Um, uh, what's a good, uh, Nick voice? He's got, uh, blonde hair. What do blonde people sound like? Preppy? Surfer? Chad? Chad, 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 Chad um, leave her alone, Garrett. You always need to be a hero, don't you? Seems like there's bad blood between them. Are you okay? I turn around to see one of the most handsome men I've ever seen. He's a clear golden boy radiating with happiness and positivity. I feel my heart flutter as I meet his concerned gaze. I think I'll manage. Don't mind him, he's a jerk to everyone. I have my fair share of experience dealing with jerks. Luckily, we aren't all jerks. I know at least one student is happy to have you here. Does that sound like a surfer? I don't think that sounds quite like a surfer. Hopefully, saying that isn't too cheesy. I didn't expect to be laughing so soon after the coffee incident, but there was something so heartwarming about his smile. He looks up and he looks at me up and down, taking in my coffee-covered appearance. It looks like the coffee burned you. Luckily, I have a background in first aid. I can bandage up that burn for you and make sure it doesn't scar. It's so sweet of him to offer to give me first aid. Well, what are we waiting for? Can you bandage me up? What do you mean bandage where? Where do you think she got burned? Right on the boobies. 
follow me. He tends to my burned boob with tender hands, gently smoothing antibiotic into my booby skin after running it under cold water. When he first presses the antibiotic onto my booby, I hiss in discomfort. Sorry, did that sting? Nothing I can't handle. He continues rubbing the antibiotic onto the burnt area of my arm, the sensation both tingling and soothing. His touch is warm, gentle, and tender. Butterflies erupt in my stomach at the delicate way he touches me. Finally, he covers my arm in a bandage, stepping back to admire his handiwork. How is that? Good as new. But I'm not excited about starting my first day covered in coffee stains. I think I might have a solution. His eyes sparkled with excitement, making butterflies erupt in my stomach. Didn't that already happen? Butterflies everywhere. He felt like a prince charming, straight out of a fairy tale, come to save the day. Follow me. Wait, we're always following him all over. Follow me. Uh... Romance? Back to romance? He leads me to an outdoor mall at the edge of campus, bringing me to a shop filled with fine dresses and high fashion. This place looks amazing. Oh, shit. You're gonna buy clothes from someone dressed like this. Do not let someone dressed like this dress you. This is not an outfit. Mind if I call in that favor? My new friend needs something to wear. Uh. Is this her? She's so beautiful. She'll be a joy to style. Wait, you're the stylist here? I've seen you in fashion magazines. I think it's about time to treat yourself to a wardrobe that matches your personality, don't you think? I know this is school, and first impressions are everything. The wardrobe you choose will set the tone for the rest of the year. I guess so. Um... Yeah, well, I gotta ask. Now I have to let her dress me. Yeah, I hope it's the piano jacket suit back there. Yep. What do you have in mind? Let's start your perfect makeover. I'm gonna show you my the best designs of this season. You're in great hands. This stylist really knows what she's doing. And I know you'll look fantastic in anything you choose. Here is the sweetheart collection. You will collect a string of hearts whenever you wear these outfits. Here is the hot new Dark Academia collection. Sure to stun and impress. I like this one. This is the one I'm going to choose. Oh no, honey. It'll be hard for people to take you seriously when you dress like this. Uh, I gotta go with the hot new Dark Academia collection. Because I really want to stun and impress, I think. Oh, fuck. Uh, hold on. I got to buy more gems. Um, hold on one second. I got to buy more gems. I'm out of gems. Um, and I don't want you to watch me buy gems. So enjoy. Enjoy this nice music. As I... Uh, Buy some more gems. Holy shit. How many gems you think we're going to use? Like, realistically... 200? Damn. The... Oh, wait, oh, wait, okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. They arranged this in a way that made me feel like I had to spend $50. I do not have to spend $50.
Okay. I'm getting those gems. This does not, this is not makeover montage music. This is like go to sleep music. No. Okay, I can I can live with this. I want to stun everyone in the Dark Academia collection. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, they're Mackin back there. Get a room. I wonder which way is my room? Being the last student to enroll, I bet I don't have any choice left. You don't just walk up and pick a room. Okay. I should ask someone for directions. They seem like they'd know. Whom would you like to be your roommate and best friend? There's... Gita? Jita? J Jitta? Gita? A sweet wallflower who knows all the gossip. And Tabitha. Fun-loving, bubbly, and quirky. Jita? Gita. Vegeta. Okay, go with Vegeta. Um, I gotta, I wanna know the gossip, clearly. Uh, what is, what is Vegeta sound like? Um, Bally girl, raspy male voice. I can, I gotta space out the raspy male voice. I don't know that I can do the nanny. Um, I'll figure it out as I go. Like, are you the new girl? Well, the word spreads fast. I'm Jita, your new roommate. I've always wanted a roommate. <laughs> like I had a small single room last year and I was always so lonely there. What is this music? I gotta, gotta go back to happy. Like, I was a bit of an outcast, if I'm being honest. Perks of being a scholarship student. Well, she's she's smart. She's brainy. Well, then we can be outcasts together. Who wants to fit in anyway? <laughs> Back to scary, scary dorm. Like, what do you think? This looks sad. Since my family ran into money problems, I have needed a scholarship to afford this school. Which also meant the worst rooms. They like probably stuck you with me since you're like brand new. This school has like so much money. You'd think they'd like be able to fix the broken window. I saw the other dorm rooms and they look nothing like, like this one. Wait, I have an idea. We can decorate it. Holy shit. Decorating a dorm room. Uh, revolutionary ideas. No, we're not going to fix the broken window. We're just going to decorate the broken window. You just slap a poster right over it. Then it won't be so plain and boring anymore. We can give it a personality just how we like it. Shit, they replaced that window in... Where did they get all... 
<laughs> we can decorate it with soft pink pastel colors to make the room feel brighter. With a cute and cozy room like this, the dorm will really feel like home. Or we can make it modern, chic, and industrial to show off our high fashion sense. A room like this would make every day feel like a new adventure. Um, I like love that idea. We can make so many memories here. I totally agree. Okay. I kind of want to keep the room sad and gloomy. I know that choosing the gym is the way to go. I can afford it. But I kind of want to keep the room sad and gloomy. I don't know if this will have consequences, but I guess we'll find out. Um, maybe this isn't so bad. Like, really? Well, okay. We don't have any classes today, so what are you doing now? We could look at this shitty dorm room. We could do this and we could do that and it would be amazing and I would just love life if my dorm room was actually, let's just uh, keep it how it is. You know, that was, it sounded like a lot of work. I don't know how to replace glass. I have to check in with the counselor and see what she has to say. Uh, cool, see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna have an episode. Hello, I'm Ian Shade the second. Of course. She's not going to be in here much. I can give her raspy voice. Or maybe she's also the stylist. The stylist is also the counselor. That's one of the secrets. I've been waiting for you. I'm Sadie. Your go-to person for any problems. No matter what your problem here may be, I have the solution. Oh, ah, uh, I'm hoping to steer clear of all the problems. Since you're just starting, since you're starting just now, you'll have a mentor to show you around. A mentor? I've asked our top students to show you around the school and they both agreed. You could choose which young man you want to show you around. I got you an option, but, you know. There they are now. Ooh, the choices. They are both here? Garrett, Nick, this is Ian Shade, the new student we talked about. So Ian Shade, who would you like to choose? I have to choose. Bum, bum, bum. Hold on. Oh, is that end of first chapter? End of first chapter. Okay. Okay. I got to remember. Honestly, I should have given both the boys the same voice because I'm going to get them mixed up anyway. Blonde boy is not quite a surfer. And brunette boy is like not quite, uh, what's his face, Rafe. I am taking notes, okay? Uh, roommate. How, I, how is Finfin fin doing? No one is Skeletor yet. Um, I actually considered making the Surfer Boy Skeletor, but that was that would probably have been too much, honestly. Maybe I should just have some Peter Griffin. I don't know that I can do Peter Griffin. I'm not a voice actor, like. 
Christmas. Hold on. I'm not doing the Christmas thing during this. <laughs> Uh, Finn Finn is dead. Okay. Finn Finn is dead. Okay, let's find some fucking secrets. This is Ian Shade, the new student we talked about. Ian Shade, this is Garrett and Nick. Who would you like to take you on your tour? I get to choose. This is the perfect opportunity to get closer to one of them. <laughs> oh, I so badly want to reject them both and go with the counselor. Uh, but I should not. Um, I mean, we're dressed in our bad boy outfit. I kind of want to go with Nick, but maybe we should go with Garrett because it matches our outfit. It's the zero romance run. Oh, hey, what's up, a pair of the stars? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm going to go with Garrett. I want to go with Garrett. Sounds good. Let's go. We should complete the tour before it gets dark. Go on. I'll be right here if you need anything. So where would you like to start this tour? The school is very big, and so am I. This is the assembly hall. Make sure you make it there before 8 a.m. every day. That's the cafeteria. Lunch and dinner timings should be in your curriculum. And those, are we getting an aerial, like a drone tour? And those are the dorms, girls wing and boys wing. Not that you'll need to know where the boys wing is. Opposite genders aren't allowed inside the respective dorm buildings. And this is the library. It's open overnight. Interesting. There's so much more to this school than I thought. You have a library? Shocking. So, I think we have something to apologize for. Now he's talking. He better be apologizing. Go on. I'm listening. I meant that you have something to apologize for. You spilled my coffee all over my shirt. He can't be serious. Are you? Jill. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just a prank, all right? A uh, freshman prank. <laughs> That's not funny. That your first... That first day was super stressful for me, you know. Oh, it's day two already? And it didn't help that you were being such a huge jerk to me. His eyes widen with alarm and then soften with sympathy. Man, I'm sorry. You're right. This school can be a lot, and I'm sure me being a jerk to you didn't help either. Here, give me your, give me your phone. Huh? Oh, careful back there. Before I can answer, he snatches my phone from my back pocket, his fingers slightly grazing my skin. Oh, I liked that. That is an expression of someone who liked that. I've added my contact, so you can call me if you have any emergencies. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Uh, yo, Garrett, we still up for tomorrow's meeting? 
That is, if you're not too busy. I'm hoping these guys aren't going to be too involved. Um, that is, if you're not too busy. That's how Brad sounds. What meeting? I didn't see anything on my schedule. As two boys walk towards us, I find... Don't walk to, Oh, no, don't walk towards us. I find their gazes slightly disturbing. Garrett looks... Hold on, I'm being disturbed. This music's too upbeat. Garrett looks at them with extreme anger in his eyes before telling them to go away. I'll talk to you guys later. It's a very intense song here. Oh my god. Hold on. Hopefully I don't have to do Brad again. So the tour's all done. You're free to go from here. Will you be alright finding your way back? Is he concerned about me? Uh, yeah, thank you for the tour. It was pretty informative. This is too scary. This is too scary. Well, this is mentor. Well, this, hold on. Well, this mentoring is an extra credit project for me, so I'd want it to do well. <laughs> you just snatched my phone off of my ass. And it, it wouldn't hurt to make sure you feel more comfortable here. Well, <laughs> thanks. I guess I'll see you around. Oh shit! Oh shit! As I start to stride off, my leg trips over a my leg trips over a small rock. My leg trips over a small rock. That's how people say that. Until only uh, only until a pair of strong arms catch me, avoiding the nasty fall. Whoa! Be careful. I find myself. Oh. I need buttons to trigger these the change of music. It, we go from like happy to romance. Maybe I should just put romance music on just like on play here. Just I find myself in Garrett's arms. His expensive cologne fills the space. Aren't we outside? I find myself getting intoxicated as I stare into his eyes. Garrett doesn't let go of me either, clearly enjoying the proximity of the situation. <laughs> Thank you. You know, if you really want to get acquainted with the campus, you need to visit the cafe. They have the best pastries you've ever tasted. If you want to keep this tour going, I can treat you to a dessert. A sweet treat with Garrett sounds amazing. I want to have a sweet dessert date with him. That sounds wonderful. Then follow me. Man, this is money well spent. You know, these gems... I got to know how this story goes. There we go. There we go. So, what do you think? Um I've had better. I've had better. <laughs> I have to say, I was surprised to see someone like you at a school like this. Meaning? Meaning, you're different. 
You aren't superficial and self-absorbed. You're quick and observant. I have to be observant in a school with as many secrets as this one. There's so many secrets. I'm just drowning in secrets over here. Just don't go poking around too much. It could be dangerous. No promises. Fair enough. Come on. I'll walk you back. Holy shit, Jim's well spent. He walks me back to the dorms, pointing out all the campus's attractions along the way. Thank you for the dessert date. Anytime. I'm leaving now. Try not to get in trouble. Hopefully, I'll run into you at tomorrow night's ice cream social. And he's off. Girl, was that Garrett Forbes, like, walking you to your dorm? I guess he was. Why? Is he, like, a big deal here or something? Like, of course he is. Garrett Forbes is the hottest guy in St. Sebastian. Not only that, but he, like, never talks to anyone other than his inner circle. His best friend, Brad. Uh, this school is really weird. I need some normal, this is, yeah. Yeah, that's, there's a classic. Well, we should head back to our room. Like, you have a lot of unpacking to do. The next day. You <laughs> You've been blushing since yesterday. Where did her glasses go? I am not. Are you like into him already? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. Like, oh my gosh, look at the time. We should head to the social. What's so special about this social? It's the first school spirit event. It's an ice cream event social where everyone like dresses up as their favorite flavor. People dress up in flavors like cotton candy and Rocky Road. This year I'm like going as lemon sherbet. It's your first day so everyone's gonna be watching you. You have, you like have to make an impression. You're right, I should jazz up my look. After all, first impressions matter the most. Holy shit. Is this supposed to be high school? Uh, you look amazing. Look classy and sweet in this strawberry. I feel so beautiful in this sweet strawberry romper. Now that is what I call a head turner. I feel so confident in this mischievous mint dress. Well, I gotta go mischievous men. Refuse to dress up. But vanilla is my favorite flavor. Wow, you look amazing. Now we're ready to go. Who is that girl? She looks so pretty, and that outfit is just amazing. I catch Garrett watching me, looking at my outfit in appreciation. Looks like our little outfit change worked its magic. Like I said, first impressions matter the most. I'm gonna find a place to sit. Uh, you can grab your dinner till then. Go grab your dinner till then. You can, you can grab your dinner till then. Go, you can grab your, grab your dinner. Sounds good. These outfits are great. 
Thankfully, I made a nice friend. It takes away some of my stress of fitting in. Who's Stella? Do we know a Stella yet? Um, is she gonna be a bitch? She looks mean. What do mean people sound like? Um, uh, uh, um, you, uh, Skeletor. Um, you, you, how did I do Skeletor? You cannot sit here. Did you not hear me? I'm gonna have to ease into it. It's been a while. What is happening? Did you not hear me? Take your things and leave. This is my table. You're only here on scholarship. You don't belong at this school, let alone this table. Are you really going to cry about this? <laughs> what a loser! Oh, Hebel, no. Does this school have its very own mean girl? Excuse me, what's the problem with us sitting here? And who are you? Do you not know the rules? This table is reserved for elite students, and you don't make the cut. Yeah, even though your outfit is cute. And neither does your filthy friend. What are you waiting for? Just move! There's no way I'm gonna let this shrew bully me or my best friend, especially when the whole skewel is watching us. Uh, Ian Shade, are we just gonna leave? Are we just, are we gonna just leave after she insults us? Oh shit, the men have arrived. A crowd of students had gathered around us. Oh, hold on. Uh, it's not intense enough. There we go. A crowd of students had gathered around us, waiting for my next step, as I hear one of them whisper. No one has ever been brave enough to stand up to Stella. Do you think this new girl will do it? I'd be surprised. The whole school will worship her if she does. Bum bum bum! I can't let her treat me and my best friend like this. I'll... Ooh, stand up to Stella and earn everyone's respect, or just defend my friend and secure the dinner spot. I kind of, like, accept the humiliation and leave. Um... I'm worried that stand up to Stella is gonna, like, be too much and get her out of the storyline. I kind of want... Uh, rage mode? Okay. I'll, I'll stand up. I really just want to secure the dinner spot, but here we go. Is this? Yeah, there we go. Hey, you! Has anyone ever told you bullying is so not cool anymore? Oh, yeah? Now you're going to teach me the rules of this school? Do you not know who I am? Yep, you're just a student here like me and her, and we can sit wherever we want to. If you don't get this straight, we can go to the school counselor. I'm sure she'll be happy to learn about the school's bully. You? I can't afford to go to the school counselor. She still hasn't forgotten about what we did at prom. Love to hear that story. This is not... There we go. Uh, Victoria? Victory! Wow, that was epic. This, this new girl has spunk.
Stella, gather yourself. Your ex-boyfriend is here. This is maybe too victorious. This is maybe a little too victorious. He's not going to be my ex much longer. Who was unlucky enough to ever date Stella? Oh, shit. No way. Her ex is Nick? Oh, me gosh. Why would Nick go for someone like that? You don't know Nick very well yet. Okay? Tell me more. Nick is like the captain of the lacrosse team, but he's somehow fell into Stella's clutches. Really? They dated? They did, but like they broke things off when he saw Stella's ugly true colors. Everyone knows that Nick doesn't want to get her back together or want to get back together with her, uh, but he's too nice to say it. And besides, rumor has it that Stella is like a powerful person at this school. Uh, who knows everything about everyone. I look across the room, catching Nick's eye. Uh, what was he, surfer? Hey, Ian Shade! Oh, he didn't like that. What was that all about? Nick and Garrett have a famous rivalry. They used to be best friends, but now they can hardly stand being in the same room. This dinner was like way too, too dramatic. I just wanted to be ice cream. I was excited for a night of being ice cream. It's my favorite of the favorite meal of the entire year. Like, should we go back to our room? Yeah, let's go. Wait a minute. Uh, this is my mom. L like, I'll, I'll see you back at, at our dorm. I'm glad you came out tonight. Oh, hey, Nick. I'm glad I did as well, too. And I have to say, what you did back there was amazing. Well, there's no way I could let a meanie walk all over me on my first day here. Is it the first or the second day? How are you enjoying the ice cream social? Honestly... It's been really eventful. Maybe a little too eventful. I'm ready to get out of here. Whenever I'm feeling as overwhelmed as you look right now, I like to hang tin. I mean, I like to go to this secret place on campus to hang tin. It's a spot that I'm sure your tour didn't cover. I've never taken anyone there before, but there's something special about you. I'd do anything to put a smile on that beautiful face. That's so sweet of Nick to say. Oh, shit. Get close with Nick at his romantic secret spot. What do you say? Want to get out of here with me? Spending time with Nick at his secret spot is exactly what I need right now. I'll get close with Nick at his secret spot. So many rumors around campus about Nick's secret spot. I say let's do it. I knew you had an adventurous side the first time we met. Let's go. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a great... <laughs> Be afraid, Ian Shade. Nick, where are we? Trust me, you're gonna love this spot. Sure is, uh, water. How did you find this? What do you, it's a giant lake. How did you how did you find this spot? I just ran into some luck while exploring in the woods one day. Cowabunga.
I'm glad I did though. Because now I get to share this place with you. Want to do something crazy? And what is that? Let's jump into the lake. That's really crazy. You think you're up for the challenge? I always love a good challenge. Let's do this. Oh shit, look away. Not a... <laughs> Not appropriate. No. Not romantic enough. No. There we go. What are you waiting for? Well, he's quite adventurous. Um... I'm gonna go in my clothes. I'm keeping my clothes. <laughs> hey! I'm gonna come get you! And here we are. Thank you for the adventure. I had a lot of fun. Me too. He reaches up, gently caressing my face, and I lean into the touch. The small brush of his fingers on my skin is both comforting and electrifying at the same time. His gaze lands on my lips, and my eyes flutter sh shut as I lean in, before he tucks a loose lock of hair behind my ear and steps away. Yep, didn't take off your clothes, you don't get that kiss. Good night, Ian Shade. Good night, Nick. What was that? Oh, wait, scary, hold on. I thought we were reflecting on the moment, but we're hearing, uh... It sounded like footsteps. Who is it at this time? Disregarding my fear, curiosity leads me in the direction of where the sound was coming from. I followed the footsteps almost involuntarily, and they led me in the direction of the forest. Damn, this school is really creepy. Why is it surrounded by such a dense forest where you don't have to go into it? They didn't say you had to go into the forest. Who are those students? And what are they doing here? Oh shit. Uh, and how long are we supposed to wait? Stop being such a pain in the butt. You know initiations take long. If you can't appreciate our rituals, you should rethink why you're here. Stop arguing, both of you. Not everyone's gonna get a unique voice. It's just not possible. Oh God, oh me gosh. Aren't these the boys from this morning? What are they doing here? Squint in your eyes to try and see it clear. I'm gonna hide behind the bushes, I think. I think standing there and squinting is probably not... Uh, Maybe not the best idea. Are we not like freezing? We swam in these clothes. While we're here, we need to talk about Garrett. Why are they talking about Garrett? I came all the way here. I can't leave without discovering what the secret gathering is. This is my chance to start uncovering the secrets behind this school. I'll chicken out and go back to my door. Um... Is moving closer a good idea? I guess I, I want to know the secrets. I feel like the second option is a smarter one, but I'm gonna move closer. Oh yeah, episode is all about microtransactions, man. I'm gonna move closer. There's no way I'm turning back now. 
I should find out everything about this school. That way I can show Dad I can do more at this school than he ever could. There he is. Are we ready? Yep. So we are all here to take the oath. We will continue what was started years ago. Is that dad? We will continue the tradition. What the heck? Beep. It's like some secret ritual. But what is it for? And who is this guy that's leading them? I should get closer. I start crawling through the bushes, but the dead leaves start making a rumbling noise. And their trans is broken. Wait a minute. I start crawling through the bushes, but the dead leaves start making a rumbling noise and their trans is broken. Oh no. Dude, did you hear that? What the hell was that? I will go check. I should run before he finds me. Should have stayed in place. Thank God they didn't see me. Is my shirt open? Oh wait, no, I'm wearing something under there, it's fine. I didn't expect my first day to be so eventful. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. Who's that? Oh, it's Garrett. You up? When did you save my number? I thought I was supposed to use it only for emergencies. I don't want to flirt with either of these guys. I'm going to say, is this an emergency? So, uh, is this an emergency? You can call it one if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to check on you. I'm totally fine. I successfully survived day one in St. Sebastian. Let's keep it that way. Make sure you stay out of trouble. Um. <laughs> it's hot that you can, that you think you can command people around. I'm used to getting my way. That must get really boring. Trust me, it's more fun than boring. Wink. Anyways, it's late. Good night, trouble. Good night, Garrett. Ready for the first day of classes? Uh, yeah, yeah, I sure am. You bet. Yeah, I, I think uh, Jita just had glasses that one time and then decided maybe not. Where's, uh... Yeah, it's Vegeta. Who could that be? Like, considering we have no friends... <laughs> considering we have no friends on the floor. We're total losers. Who could be knocking at our door? Let me check. How old are we? I think we're supposed to be in, like, a home... Like, a high school boarding school? Garrett... We need to talk. Ready to go? I wasn't expecting him to come and pick me up. I am. 
I follow Garrett as Jeter signals me to go. As we pass the hallways, I feel everyone's eyes on us. Even as we reach my classroom, Garrett doesn't say a word. But I can hear people gossiping among themselves. What is she doing with Garrett? I thought he doesn't date. So who's that girl? I've never seen him with a girl before. Why did he suddenly stop here? And he's so close to me. He leans in close, lips practically brushing my ear. The close proximity makes my cheeks heat up and butterflies erupt within my stomach. He leans in ever closer, then whispers, You should stay out of the woods at night. <gasps> bum, 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 bum. I'm just about to uncover the school's most daunting secret. We, do we don't even have one secret yet. We have not found a single secret. Okay, while well, I'm taking a vocal rest, Team Garrett or Team Other Guy? What's his name? Garrett and uh, Nick. <laughs> I have them written down as blonde and brunette. Team Nick? Nobody likes Garrett? <laughs> Garrett, he's fucking weird and I can respect that. Team Jita. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Luckily, not too much of the counselor. What's the bully's name? I'm Team Bully, whoever the bully is. Stella. Yeah, I'm, I'm Team Stella so far. She had a nice, uh, an aggressive energy about her, you know? Okay, here we go. Why does Garrett look so worried? So, you wanted to talk to me about something? <sighs> you should stay out of the woods at night. What? What woods? This whole school is surrounded by woods, Garrett. You'll need to be more specific. Any woods. Look, Ian Shade. There's a reason why students don't go into the woods after dark. I don't want you to find out the hard way what that reason is. Just promise me you'll stay away from there. Surely you don't expect me to just accept that no questions asked. If anything, I'm even more intrigued now. Ian Shade, I'm serious. Be careful. Please. Garrett seems genuinely worried about me. Does he know something about what I saw last night? Or maybe... Was he there last night? Come on, our history class is right here. Maybe you'll even be lucky enough to sit next to me. One can only dream. I gotta go to the woods. I gotta find my way back to the woods. Miss Six Wings? Um, Miss Six Wings. Is that a is that a real last name? I've never heard Six Wings before. Six Wings. It's Miss Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, 
Uh... Ah, you must be E.N. Shade. I am Miss Six Wings, your history teacher for this semester. Please come in, take a seat. As always, class, whoever you're sitting next to will be your partner for the entire year. And we're kicking things off today with a really fun project, so make sure you're happy with your partner before we get started. There's only two seats available. One next to Garrett, and the other... Oh, fuck yes! Stella. If I sit next to her, she'll drive me crazy all year. Sitting next to Garrett for the entire year, though, well, that could be a lot of fun. It'd be the perfect way for me to get to know him better, and maybe, finally, tear down that god he loves so much. I want to sit with Stella and listen to, listen to her cribbing all year. Uh, probably not a great idea for the story, but it's that's my choice. Uh, seriously? Is there a problem, Stella? Uh, what was I thinking? Sitting with Garrett would have been way more fun. And now I have to deal with Stella for the rest of the year. Settle down, everyone! As I mentioned, we're starting off the new school year with a really fun history project based around unsolved mysteries of the past. In your pairs, I'll be assigning you each an unsolved case, and together, we'll work through them. Studying unsolved mysteries? That's so cool. I guess the syllabus at St. Sebastian is way more interesting than at a regular school. Dilly. Thank you for being so attentive today, class. I will see you all tomorrow. Looks like you're missing out on the pleasure of my company for an entire year. And here I thought we were friends. You want to be friends? <laughs> you have Jim next. Do you want me to walk you there? It's kind of cute how seriously you're taking this whole tour guide thing. Cute? Really? Adorable, even. <laughs> but I'm sure I can find it on my own. Thank you, though. There she is. Ah, just the person I needed to talk to. What? I saw you with Nick last night. What were you talking about? Seriously? Um... <laughs> well, oh, that... Nick was just telling me how glad he is that I came to St. Sebastian, and how much he likes me. La I thought that I was going to say that Nick liked Stella, not me. Liar! Nick and I are together, Ian Shade. There's no way he'd ever be interested in you, so you can get... Quit trying to steal my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You're delusional. It's literally my second day here, and even I know the two of you are broken up. Nick wants nothing to do with you. We are on a break! And anyway, you think he wants you? Why would he when the entire school has noticed how cozy you've been with Garrett Forbes since you have arrived? You'd think stealing my boyfriend would be enough for a girl, but no! You have to have both of the most popular guys at school for yourself! Ugh. Let me give you a reality check, Ian Shade. You're not good enough for either of them. And you'll never will be, so you should just give up trying. 
she cannot be serious right now. There's no way I'm going to just stand here and let her say these things to me. I'll cuss her out and prove that I'm not to be messed with. That sounds like what I would do. Are you fucking listening to yourself? You bitch. I think it's you who needs to shut the fuck up and get a damn reality check, Stella. Nick dumped your ass. And if you want him back, you better fucking be working on your relationship. And not yelling at someone you barely know, motherfucker. How dare you? Nick loves me. Yeah, then why is he not taking you back yet? In fact, if he loves you so much, why did he end things in the first place? I'll level with you, Stella. Right now, I'm just friends with both Nick and Garrett. But if I want to be more friends, more than friends, with either of them, then it'll just be between us. And it definitely won't concern you. You little... Stay out of my business, got it? <laughs> oh, oh. I'm so late. Why was this basketball court so hard to find? Am I wearing this to P.E.? Um, where is everyone? Well, 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 look who found our spot. Oh, God. Are you lost, little dove? Everyone knows Miss Ryan's class is doing track today. Although I guess you wouldn't know that. Newbie. Oh! It's funny! We're supposed to believe that you're Saint Sebastian material, and yet you find, can't find your own classes! Pretty pathetic, don't you think? What did you just say to her? Oh, it's it's Brad. I mean, it's Garrett. Garrett? Well, we were just... I asked you a question. Oh, Hunter liked that. We were just messing with her, Forbes. No harm, no foul, right? Wrong. You know, sometimes I wonder why I'm even friends with the two of you. Are you really such bleeps holes that you think it's funny to target someone just because they're new? Remember, you were also new here once. Remember? <laughs> In fact, I can quite easily recall stuff the two of you did before you knew your way around this place. Like the time when you... Garrett, what the hell, man? We promised to never speak of that again! So, apologize to her. Really? Yes, really. Ian Shade belongs here just as we do. And St. Sebastian is much better with her being here, so yes. Apologize. We're sorry. Now, leave us. You really didn't have to do that, you know. Although it was kind of hot. Although it was kind of hot. Good to know. I guess I shouldn't have left you alone, though. If I'd have just walked you to gym, we could have avoided all of this. Any excuse to stay glued to my side, right? It wouldn't surprise me if you'd asked your friends to do that just so you could swoop in and save me. Don't worry, Garrett. I may still swoon yet. All right, all right. I'm just glad that you're okay. 
Although, now you're really late for gym. I know. Way to make a good first impression, huh? It's okay. You'll just have to charm Miss Ryan next time you see her. Although, I see why for you, that might be a problem. Hey! I'm charming. I just haven't turned it up to full power with you yet. This isn't full power? Nope. Hee tee hee hee. Well, look, since you've already missed so much of gym class, you might as well miss the whole thing, right? I don't know if that's how that works. How about we go and do something together? You and me. Could we find a secret? I want to find a secret. I'm looking for secrets. You and me, huh? What do you have in mind? Well, we could always go to my room. Uh huh. I'm listening. Alone time with Garrett sounds fire. Um, and watch a movie. They're watching a movie standing up in front of a table covered in a soft blanket with, with popcorn atop it. Interesting choice. Just a movie. Or we could go for a ride on my bike. A long bike ride in the wild, anything could happen. Just the two of us, with your body pressed against mine. I see why you suggested that now. You've been dying for an opportunity to have me all wrapped around you, haven't you? <laughs> Guilty. This is my chance to get closer to Garrett, and not just emotionally. I want to... Hmm... Miss out and run laps in the cold is sounding quite tempting. Get out? What, what do we think? We want to run laps? Do we want to go to the room or do we want to go do a, a, a wild ride? Miss out, run laps, run laps, run laps, bike laps. Okay. Everyone wants to run laps. Uh... Bike. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna run laps because not only because a lot of people want it, but also because I'm already down to 83 gems, and we're on chapter I think three. So I need to be smart about when I'm spending gems. Lovers come and go, but gains are eternal. There's there's something you could like cross stitch. We're gonna run laps in the cold. I should probably just go to gym. Sure. <laughs> uh, hey, you. I don't know that I have another voice. Hey. 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 Hey, hey you. <laughs> Why are you late? Um, I'm sorry, Miss Ryan. Come here. Four laps for you! Here we go. We're getting it done. Oh, I'm freezing. I could have been curled up with Garrett right now. What a day. I can barely feel my legs after running those laps. So, how were the laps? How do you think? Oh, Garrett liked your message. Right. Sorry. If only you'd taken me up on my offer. Wink. Just think. You could have been oh so close to me. So now you see why I had to turn you down. Haha. <laughs> Very funny. By the way, 
I heard Miss Ryan was pretty hard on you in gym class. Are you okay? Other than being exhausted, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, I can scroll these. You guys don't like Ryan? I mean, Garrett? Always. I just wish I could have done more to put a smile on your face. Are you going soft on me, Garrett? Me? Never. <laughs> but, but seriously, you've already done so much for me, Garrett. My time at St. Sebastian wouldn't have been as good as it has been if not for you. Now who's going soft on who? But does that mean my mission to put a smile on your face has been successful? Maybe. Oh, what the fuck is this? Don't, what the f Uh... Okay, got a dick pic. Garrett sent me a dick pic. Well, maybe this will help seal the deal then. I can ignore Garrett, see if Garrett's photo can make you smile, or open plus like Garrett's photo and send one of you. I'm opening it. You know I gotta see it. That's, I mean, it's, it's a type of dick pic. It's just not the, what I was expecting. I'll give him like a wink. Hee 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 hee. Garrett liked your photo. I'm glad to see that smile is back where it belongs. All thanks to you. Good night, beautiful. Tihi. Where is Jita? I haven't seen her all day. Did something just hit my window? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> uh. He's looking right at it. Nick, what are you doing here? Well, I heard what happened t today with Stella. I think we should talk. Nick knows about what happened with Stella. Um. Yeah, did you climb up all the way up here for me? Hold on. Did you climb all the way up here for me? I did. I owe you an explanation, Ian Shade. It's time I tell you everything. But not here. We could get into a lot of trouble if I'm caught in your room after curfew. I'm not against a bit of trouble. Oh, I know. But I have some place else I want to show you tonight. Do you trust me, Ian Shade? Yeah, as long as you... T I think as long as you tell me everything. He's staring very intently in a, in a very specific direction. I will, as long as you don't leave me in the dark again. Can you come here? I'll help you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, so they were on the ground floor. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought he climbed up the side of a building, but was he just... He was just sitting there? He, he was just on the ground floor. Now they're on the roof. It's, very, it's a very confusing school. There are a lot of secrets. I can't believe we're on the roof, Nick. If you'd have told me two days ago that I'd be here with you, I wouldn't have believed you. We gotta get some romance going on. It's romantic on the roof. 
You could slip and fall and die. What's more romantic than that? I'm really happy you're here. Not just at St. Sebastian, but here with me, now. I know I have some explaining to do, but first, I just want to say that I totally get it if you aren't willing to give me a chance after this. But I hope once you know everything, you'll understand why things are so complicated between Stella and I. And then, hopefully, we can put this behind us and just focus on us. Nick seems nervous about opening up. Whatever went on between him and Stella, it must be really hard for him to talk about. I want him to know that he can trust me with anything. I should... Um... I think I could save ten, ten gems and do the middle one, right? Tell him he's boring and le Listen, we got, we want to get an ending, right? I, maybe you do get an ending if you choose the, the shitty options. Sorry, Nick. I'm just really tired. Oh, okay. I understand. <laughs> Before you leave, Ian Shade. Nick takes my hand in his as he looks into my eyes. His face lit by the moonlight. His dreamy eyes searching for mine. The Founder's Ball is tomorrow. Will you be going? The Founder's Ball? What's that? It's the first formal of the year and a St. Sebastian tradition. I know it'll only be your third day here, but... I'd love to see you there. They have so many dances. They just had a dance yesterday, and they're doing another one? My first St. Sebastian event. I wonder what will happen. Bum, bum, bum. I don't think we're making the best, uh, best of choices. If I'm being totally frank, I think we might uh, we might need to romance some of the terrible guys just so we can, you know, see what happens. Probably shouldn't have told him what he was boring. I did it because chat told me to, but in retrospect, I probably should have tried to learn some information. I have a feeling we will not make it through all 12 episodes. I think... I think it might make more sense to do six and then finish the other six tomorrow. I don't think that I can read. Uh, I don't think I can read all 12 without my voice completely going out. Go for Garrett. Yeah, who seems the most evil? Like, not creepy evil, but like cultish, leaving a... Uh, leading some type of school secret. Well, it's got to be one of the... We can't romance Brad. Thank goodness we cannot romance Brad. I made a huge mistake with Brad's voice. Both are super evil. We can't romance Strange Dad. When do we meet Saint Sebastian? Okay. <clears throat> okay. See if we can find out about the secret cult. I don't know about this music here. That's fine. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> Let's just roll with it. Uh, and also, thank you everybody who has uh, subscribed and donated during the stream. I will read uh, stuff at the end of the stream. I'm going to keep going for the time being, though. I've seen a lot of people think it's going to be werewolves. Are there... Was there... Is there logic behind the the werewolf guess? Or is it just because... It was just a guess. Okay. 
any brush was in your dreams. Woods, wolves, werewolves. Okay, werewolves can be in the woods. It's true. And they would probably keep it a secret. The Founder's Ball is tomorrow. Will you be going? The Founder's Ball? What's that? It's the first formal of the year, and it's a St. Sebastian tradition. I know it'll only be your third day here, but I'd love to see you there. Teehee. Have to dust off me boobies. There you are. Like, why are you coming through the window? I just couldn't sleep. Are you, like, worried about something? Not worried, but there is something on my mind. I heard there's a Founder's Ball tomorrow. Oh, shoot. I, like, totally forgot to mention it to you. It's basically just a really formal event for, like, seniors and, like, faculty in honor of the founders of St. Like, Sebastian. Although if the rumors are true, I don't know why we're honoring them. Apparently there's some, like, real shadiness in the main founder's past. Uh, I mean... Really? Yeah, but don't, like, mention that to anyone. People don't really like to talk about it. I wonder what's that about. Jita seems to know more than what she's saying. Do you know anything about it? Other than rumors? Uh, no. Looks right at me. I actually wasn't planning on going to the ball before you got here, but now we should definitely go. It'll be, like, so much more fun with you. Plus... From what I've seen over the past few days, you have multiple options for your date. Did she just change the subject? What is this music? You're right. I guess I do have options. I wonder if either Nick or Garrett will go, will ask me to go with them. Or both. Wink. Yawn. Anyway, I'm gonna, like, get some sleep. Or whatever. Are you gonna go to bed now, too? This is terrible music. I think I'm going to stay up for a bit. Okay. See you in the morning, Ian Shade. There's clearly something about the Founder's past that someone wants to keep hidden. Even Jita was reluctant to talk about it. I wonder if anyone else knows about it. I should text someone I trust and ask, but who? Why are we texting Dad? Right, I would text Dad. I'm going to ask Nick, right? Nick? I think I'm going to ask Nick. I want to know about the shady history of the founders. Hey, I know I literally just saw you, but I need to ask you something. Sure, what is it? Oh, how should I play this? Um... Hmm. Should I be forward or should I beat around the bush? Tough choice. Okay. Going for the bush. I'm realizing I don't know much about St. Sebastian at all. Do you think you could tell me more about its history? Since the Founders' Ball is tomorrow, I thought I should probably brush up on the people I'll be celebrating. There's not much to it, Ian Shade. The founding, fa the founding families founded families. The founding families founded the school. And here we are today. 
really. There's, so there's no shadiness about the past? I mean, not that I know of. The only Founders-related thing I care about is the ball. Speaking of which, did you decide if you're going yet? Way to dodge the question. I'll be there. Your friends seem cagey about the Founders history. Could you have- Fuck! <laughs> I can't read those pop-ups. They're too quick. That's weird. Nick also seemed reluctant to talk about the Founders. Which makes me even more intrigued to find out exactly what the real story is. And what better way to look into a St. Sebastian's shady past than with a late night library session. It is open all night. Oh my God, this is how you dress to the library? Wow, it's so empty in here. I thought Nick said people study here overnight. <laughs> What's this? Sebastian Rink, his life and legacy. That sounds promising. Um, Stefan. Stef Stefan. Stefan? Hey, I'm Stefan. Hey, uh, there's too many people. Um, oh. Great, great minds think alike, I guess. What? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to catch you off guard. It's just I came here looking for that exact book. And up until now, I'm the only person who's ever been interested in books. Really? This is who we're going to end up with. This is the guy, by the way. Yeah, no one seems to talk about what really happened back then. Uh, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it one way or the other. Oh my gosh. Really? There's such a coincidence. That's such a coincidence because I literally just decided the same thing. It's so weird how no one talks about it, right? Like, what are they hiding? I have no idea. Yet. But given all the secrecy around it, it must be huge. This is so exciting. I'm so glad I found somebody I can talk to about this. What do you... Shh! <laughs> Come on. So, if we're going to be partners in crime, or rather, partners in solving crime, I should probably get your name. It's Stefan. And yours? Ian Shade. Well, Ian Shade, it looks like we have a mystery on our hands. That we do. Only with no one wanting to talk about it. I don't see how we'll ever solve it. I mean, it's not surprising that people are reluctant to share. Everyone knows knowledge is power around here. Okay, but then why is no one at least trying to dig up the truth? Everyone that I've asked so far has completely shut me down. As if they want to stay as far away from the Founders' past as possible. Well, Ian Shade, there are just rumors about more than- Wait, there are rumors about more than just what the Founders got up to. But rather, what happens to the people- who dig too far into their past. What? Oh my god, I stopped walking. I was just sh so shocked that I'm just kind of sliding along. Nothing scary. Don't worry. But there was a student here last year who was expelled over the weirdest technicality. Only I'd seen them in the library a week earlier, looking into the founding families just as you were. You think someone was expelled for uncovering the truth. Could they do that? That's illegal. Well, 
It's all just speculation, Ian Shade. We have no proof. But we absolutely should be careful with how we approach this investigation. That is, if you're still up for it. I am. I want to know the truth. I just wish there was an easy way to get it. Well, there's no time like the present. The Founder's Ball will be the perfect opportunity for us to ask around. Why is that? All the mayor, major players will be there. Students, faculty, anyone that could possibly know something, all in the same room. If we work together, um, we must be able to find something out. You're right. First, though, I need to know what you know. There's rumors about what happened, but I haven't been able to get even those out of anyone. Do you know what the rumors are? Just so we have a starting point, at least. Well, the big rumor is that the main founder of St. Sebastian, Sebastian Rink himself, killed someone. He killed someone? Who? Shh. Ian Shade, keep your fucking voice down. I just said it was a secret and that we could get expelled. Moron. Also, the woods have ears. Those people I saw the other night, I guess Stefan knows about them too. Do you know if it's true? The rumor, that is. I don't. I mean, there could be a good chance that it's just another made-up tale. But that's what you and I are going to find out. Next day. Ian Shade, like, wake up. She's stoked for school. Jita is stoked for school. Why are you so peppy today? Because, Ian Shade, tonight is the Founders Ball, of course. Crap! <laughs> How are we going to be ready in time? How do I have low battery? I'm, I'm plugged in. Hold on one second. I'm swapping to a different plug here. Give me just a second. MJ did not unplug it. Okay, hopefully that works. I moved it to like from a USB thing to its actual brick. Uh, high octane gameplay. I guess I could uh, do that. But now I can't see all the colors. We need outfits, formal ones, preferably. But I didn't bring anything with me. Yeah, and Shade, like, just breathe. You don't need to worry about any to, about finding something to wear. I don't. Nope. Guess what was delivered to our dorm, like, right this morning. Two, two to die for formal outfits from two to die for hotties. Oh me gosh, where? Here, it's in a big old box. Here's the box. Oh, we gotta get some, like, elegant music here. So this first one is from Nick. They gave us dresses? Nick sent me this gorgeous gown. Um... It, I... Uh, I feel like a princess in this. It's so gorgeous. And you look gorgeous too. No one will be able to take their eyes off you. Is this what Jita is wearing to the to the formal? 
but you said there was another? Indeed there is. Uh, let's see what the infamous Garrett Forbes sent you. That's probably a better look. Wow. This one is sexy. It's a bold take on the dress code, that's for sure. <laughs> that's pretty great. But in the best possible way. You'll be turning heads all evening wearing that. But, like, you look incredible in both, Ian Shade. Clearly, both of the guys really like you. Which one are you going to wear? Snub both boys and wear your damp, crumpled gym clothes. How is that the only... That's the only option? Um, tits out for the boys. Tits out for the boys. This is the one. You look perfect, Ian Shade. Now it's my turn. Eh, you look fine. Now we're like ready to take on this dance. Who is it? Oh shit, fucking creepers in the window. Look out your window. It's Garrett. Good point. We did just wake up and it's already time for <laughs> time for the dance. It's night. Okay? It took a really long time trying on those two outfits. Garrett, what are you doing here? What do you think? Ian Shade, I'm here to take you to the dance. That is, if you think you can handle being my date. You look incredible, by the way. I'm glad you liked my gift. <laughs> Ian Shade, you've got flowers? What? Beautiful flowers for the most beautiful girl. I'll be waiting at the party for you. This is amazing, Ian Shade. I told you you'd have multiple options for tonight. I can't believe it myself. So, like, who are you going to the party with? Who would I like to share my first St. Sebastian's... This is not my first St. Sebastian's date or party. I've done both. Um, what do you guys think? I can't go with Stella, unfortunately. Creepy Garrett? He has a Shinmu bike. I mean... I'm gonna have to buy more gems. I'm gonna be out of gems. I have to go with Garrett. What are you waiting for then? Go. I'll meet you at the party. Boobies out. Ready to go? Not really. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna play nice with Garrett. I want information. You bet. Come on. There they go. Yep, they got live music. Uh, what, should we do dance? Um, I don't know. I don't think I ever picked a voice for her. She could be a robot. No one's a robot yet. God, this music is something. Um, uh, I'm worried about 
more people coming in. I'll just, she's just a person. What is she doing with Garrett? I thought he never comes to school events. We definitely underestimated her. Everyone's looking at us. Ooh, I like Lydia. I like it styled that way. That's a good idea. Maybe I will do the robot for Lydia. Immediately, Garrett is there gently taking my hand in his. You know, I don't usually come to these events. But something tells me tonight with you will be worth it. Yeah, and Shade, there you are. I didn't realize that. Where did the pant go? Who took the pant? Oh, that's true. Lydia is Skeletor's partner in crime. She'd make a. She'd make a good. Ro Wait, he's wearing. He's not wearing a pant either. Is this intentional? Um, I hope you don't mind if I, like, steal her away for a moment, Garrett. I'm in need with a drink. I'm in, I'm in need of a drink with my bestie. Girl, put your pants on. I mean, what a great night. I know, right? Are these events always this fun? I literally just got here. This isn't like anything... Uh, this isn't anything like the ones I'm used to at my old school. I hope so. I could definitely get used to this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go find someone hot to dance with. Ian Shade, we meet again. What do you want, Stella? I was just thinking, it's not surprising to see the two school rejects hanging out together. Clearly, neither of you can do any better. I bet, I bet you're all each other has. How sad. Actually, that's not true at all. As I'm sure you've noticed, I also have Garrett. Didn't like that. You know what, Ian Shade? I'm tired of you thinking that you're better than me. You're a nobody in this world, do you understand? Really? A nobody? Then why are you so obsessed with constantly seeking me out and harassing me? That was a look. I think you should just focus on yourself, Stella. You desperately need the self-improvement. I have powerful connections here, Ian Shade. You'd be wise not to make an enemy of me. Especially considering I know about Garrett's family. What? Damn. Looks like Stella really has it out for you. Stefan. So, turns out that my investigative partner is the talk of this event. Especially after you showed up on the arm of Garrett Forbes. I didn't take you for the center of attention type. But after seeing how rattled you have Stella, you must be on your way to becoming St. Sebastian's new Queen Bee. Stefan seems to know a lot about St. Sebastian. You seem to keep up with the school's gossip. Just how things are around here, Ian Shade. At St. Sebastian, keeping up with the gossip is the only way to get anywhere. But speaking of Queen Bees, I think it's time St. Sebastian had a new Queen Bee who actually deserves the title. You think I deserve to be the Queen Bee? I'm not sure someone with my background is qualified. I don't know, Ian Shade. It's better than a Queen Bee who comes from blood money. Blood money? 
Do you mean Stella? Does she come from blood money? Not just Stella. He and Shade. The school holds way too many secrets, as do the people who attend it. But luckily for you, I'm here to let you know all of them. Stefan clearly knows something, and it sounds really important. Get closer to solving the mystery. Don't let this opportunity slide. I must buy more gems. I must buy more gems. Have a little break while I buy more gems. I have to really think about this. Okay. This stream is an investment. Um... How much are the gems? Uh, I guess I can show you that. These are these are what we're looking at. This is what they charge for the gems. I bought the twenty pack last time. Uh, I think I think the fifty pack might be the the best bet because we we burned through those twenties like crazy. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the 50. It's so expensive, but you know, that's why we do them all together. Yes, I have I have burned through twenty dollars this stream, which is fine. I mean, you you don't you don't do an episode stream without expecting to burn through some cash. I mean, that's just kind of how the game is. Okay. Uncover all the darkest secrets of the school's elite students or find out Stella's dark secret and keep her in line forever. I kind of don't want to keep Stella in line forever. I kind of want her to raise some more shit, you know? I think I'm going to uncover all the darkest secrets. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Tell me everything, Stefan. If we're going to have any hope of uncovering St. Sebastian's hidden past, I'll need to know of any and all shadiness. Yeah, and shadiness. <laughs> well, the school has multiple secret societies. It's all part of the traditions here at St. Sebastian. Traditions that were started by the founders. Really? Yep. They're led by the most rich and powerful students at the school, including the descendants of the founders, who are rumored to themselves be students at St. Sebastian. Only no one knows exactly who the founders' descendants are. How did they, how did they manage that? Do you think Stella could be descended from a founding family? Uh, it's, it's possible. But like I said, no one knows exactly who they are. What you said last night about the woods having ears. I saw a group of people meeting in the woods when I first got here. Is that... The is that the secret society? Is that the secret societies? That's what we need to find out. The secret societies are the key to finding out who the founding families are. And from then, discovering the secrets they're trying to keep uh, hidden about the past. Later that evening... Oh, slow song. Hold on, I gotta find a slow song. Oh, they're like playing a slow song. I wonder where Garrett is. This is the perfect romantic moment for you to like dance with him. Yan Shade. Carrot. I think this is the point where we dance together. 
They did. They put their pants back on. It's true. Is it? I didn't take you for a slow dancer, Garrett. I think you'll find out there's a lot you don't know about me. What do you say? Can I have this dance, Ian Shade? Yep. I mean, I gotta. I gotta get close to Garrett so I can uncover the secrets. We already know we're ending up with Stefan. So, you know. I think that can be arranged... Sorry, <laughs> I can't resist. Everyone's staring ag again, Garrett. Hey, look at me. Just keep your eyes on me, okay? No one else matters. That scared you? Yeah, you know, episodes scary. You gotta be, you gotta be on your toes. I allow myself to get lost in Garrett's eyes as we let song after song. Pa oh, we gotta skip songs. Different songs. As we let song after song pass in each other's arms. You're pretty good at this, you you know. There was a singer at this dance. Could be appropriate. Don't tell anyone. It'll ruin my reputation. Right, of course. Ian Shade. Poke, poke. Yeah, carrot. Poke, poke. I... That's my, uh, that's my record scratch. Wait, why has the music stopped? Having fun, newbie? <laughs> but I guess no one told you about the rules. There can only be one queen of the night. And that queen is me, unless you're up for a dance battle. Can you dance better than me? Let's see. Saint Sebastian will vote. Yo, the epic dance battle. Hold on, I gotta get dance battle music. Uh, dance. Uh, what? Dance pop? Unpredictable. So original. There we go. That's something they would play at an episode dance battle. This is my chance to dethrone Stella and earn me the spot in the school's elite. Man, I I can either become the new Queen Bee or I can destroy her on the dance floor. I feel like I want to destroy, right? You know what? Bring it on. Let's see if you can keep up with me. All right, guys, let's begin the challenge. Lydia's a robot now, by the way. As we know, no one can come close to Stella when it comes to dancing. So let's see what the new girl has to offer. Watch and learn, Ian Shade. Oh, oh, oh! Trust me, you can beat her blindfolded. Yeah, I don't doubt it. All right, it's time to show her how it's done. We're going to drop it like it's hot. Watch this. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. Oh. Oh. We got to grind. Yeah. <laughs> These moves. 
Oh shit! Oh, that's the best one. That's the best dance right there. That's a little much. I like the I like the rodeo one. That was insane, Ian Shade. You killed it out there. Thank you, Garrett. It's nice to finally get a compliment out of you. Well, maybe you should get used to it. Wait, where's Jita? I'll be right back. Well, school hallways are creepy at night. Jita just took off. Where might she be? Um, restroom makes the most sense, right? Jita! Is she dying? Is she? Okay. Okay, no, she's fine. Hey, what happened? The, this. I know your father is in jail. But does anyone else? Well, not yet. Love always, Agatha. What's this? You're being blackmailed. Oh. It's an intense place to leave it on right there. Bum, 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 bum. It's Agatha. You guys don't know Agatha? What is the point of writing a threatening note if you put your name on it? That's a great question. That's a, you know, that's a thinker. It was Agatha all along. Okay. It's time for episode 5 of 12 of School of Secrets. So far, not many secrets. Honestly, I was hoping for more secrets, but we're not even halfway yet. So maybe they're just holding on to some of the secrets, you know, for uh, other reasons, you know? Oh, it's not creepy anymore. Are you sure you want to skip the day? Yeah, I'm sure. If I go, I'll be paranoid all day that the blackmailer is about to reveal my secret. Cheetah, you don't have to worry. I'll fight them. I will fight them. N no. Ian Shade, I don't feel too well today. Y you go. Okay, see you at lunch. She's evil. Jita is evil. I don't trust her. Oh, no. <clears throat> Good morning, class! Good morning, Mrs. Six Wings. Are we working on our... Uh, what? Uh, oh, my God. Teacher's pet. Are we working on our unsolved mystery cases today? Not exactly. Today, you'll be going to the library to investigate the history of St. Sebastian. You're already a partner, so you can use this period to start your research. Hey, do you want to go to the library together? If we must. Act coy all you want, but you love my company, really. <laughs> that I do. Ooh, I love this building. That's a cool building. Um, back to some regular jazz, maybe? More gyms for Agatha? I wonder why we're researching about the school all of a sudden. Don't you think it's weird that Miss Six Wings suddenly changed the schedule? I asked her before we left, and she said it's important for every student to be aware of the school's legacy. I love her way of teaching. It's so unique and refreshing. Sending me to the library. Oh, what a concept. 
It's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Come on, let's see if we can find any books on St. Sebastian's history. I know where to find books on the founders, but what if Stefan said is true? If I don't want Garrett to be in danger for looking too closely at something that someone wants to keep hidden, maybe I should try to keep him away from anything founder-related. Okay, I'll look on the left and you look on the right. You're not going to pick like a section? You just like, you look on the left of the, the library, I'll, t I'll look on the right? What's this? The Sebastian Rink's... The Sebastian Rink's wife was called Agatha. Isn't that the name on Jita's blackmail note? That can't be a coincidence. Hey. Oh me gosh, Stephen, Stefan! You need to stop sneaking up on me. Ha 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 ha, my bad. What are you looking for? Believe it or not, I actually have a school project now to look into St. Sebastian's history. How convenient. Ha 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 ha. Ian Shade. Garrett, where did you come from? I swear everyone keeps startling me lately. We're working on a project together, remember? Unless I'm interrupting something. How am I not? Why am I not working? With Stella. I thought I chose to work with Stella. No. Actually, you kind of are. Right. Carrot, wait! Why did you say that? Sorry, I panicked. You don't want him to know about our investigation, do you? No. But I should go and check on him now. Garrett? What a baby. What? Really? You're not even going to look at me? I'm sorry Stefan was rude, but... Forget it, Ian Shade. I don't know what I was expecting anyway. You're allowed to flirt with whoever you want. Flirt? You think I was flirting with Stefan? Were you not? No. Did not buy that. He did not buy that. This is the most worked up I've seen Garrett about anything in the two whole days that I've known him. Surely he's not bothered by the idea of me liking Stefan. Garrett... So what if I was flirting? Not that I was flirting, but why But why would that bother you anyway? Don't tell me THE Garrett Forbes is jealous. I'm not jealous. Right. Of course you're not. I'm not. Annoyed, though? Yeah. I thought we were working on this project together, but as soon as we got here, you skipped off to flirt with someone else. I don't want to be left with all the work. But when his eyes met mine, his guard slips exposing the vulnerability behind it. Garrett. You don't have to push me away. Just tell me what's bothering you. I've never seen you let anything get to you like this before. It's you, Ian Shade. Me? You get to me. You irritate me. You infuriate me. And no matter how much I deny it to myself, you've consumed all of my thoughts since the moment I met you. Is that supposed to sound romantic? Does that mean you were angry at me this entire time, or...? I'm sorry, Ian Shade. I was jealous. I guess I was just looking forward to spending more time with you today. 
and thought that you'd be gone with a better offer. Teehee. Garrett. Um, I'm not letting him know how I feel about him because that's not how I feel about him, but I will reassure Garrett. I want to spend time with you too. Why do you think I wanted to do this project with you? You have no reason to be jealous, Garrett. I'm here with you, aren't I? I would never abandon you and leave you hanging like that. And I'm definitely not interested in flirting with anyone else right now. Least of all, Stefan. Good to know. How do you know him, anyway? We met here when I was researching something. Really? What? I trust Garrett, and I want to share this with him. Besides, he's Garrett Forbes. I can't picture him ever getting involved in something he wouldn't know how to get out of. Well, I heard there were rumors about the founders of St. Sebastian that I wanted to look into. I came here a few nights ago to do some of my own research and found that Stefan and found Stefan looking into the same thing. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice to not spill the beans. We've decided to work together to try and find out what really went on with the founders. What? I know, it's crazy. We think that somebody, probably one of the founders' descendants, is doing everything they can to stop people from finding out the truth. People have been suspiciously expelled, and... Ian Shade. Stop. Even Garrett's like, too much information. What are you getting yourself into? If what you say is true, you could be putting yourself in danger by looking into it. I'll be fine, Garrett. Stefan and I will be careful. And how do you know you can trust him? If you get caught, how do you know he won't use you as a scapegoat? These people are powerful, Ian Shade. You don't want to get caught up in something that's a lot bigger than you and end up in trouble you can't get out of. You're right, Garrett. This is bigger than me. It's bigger than all of us. But this has gone beyond just me wanting to prove myself or my own curiosities. If Jeter's blackmailer is using the Founder's wife's name, there must be a connection there. I'm sorry, Garrett, but I need to know the truth. You're annoyingly stubborn, you know that? I do. He doesn't like that. Fine. But just be careful, Ian Shade. I mean it. Carrot Forbes, are you worried about me? Of course I am. Who knows what you're getting yourself into? And I... I don't want anything to happen to you. Sounds like you care about me. I do, Ian Shade. Did my declaration of your permanent residence in my thoughts not make that clear enough, you stupid bitch? Were you not paying attention to all the compliments I was giving you two seconds ago? Tee <laughs> I suppose it did. I care about you too, Garrett. And I'll be careful, I promise. Good. How many gems has Garrett spent on us? <laughs> Although, poke poke, I wouldn't let anything happen to you anyway. Yeah? The way that Garrett's looking at me, is he about to kiss me? Ian Shade. I re- I really want to kiss you. I really want that too. 
Teehee. So is that a yes? Oh my God, take control and make out with Garrett. <laughs> or say yes and kiss him. We have to kiss. We're a deep cover agent. I know Garrett sucks, but we have to get the info. We're taking control. Without hesitating, I pull Garrett towards me, eager to finally feel his lips on mine. He instantly deepens the... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. He instantly deepens the kiss, and I match his passion, desperately trying to keep control. But Garrett's lips are intoxicating, and it's not long until my head is spinning. And all I can think about is him. Garrett. With every passing moment, our kiss grows more passionate. Aren't you working on a school project? And with a bunch of people in the library? Until, breathless, he breaks the spell between us, pulling back to meet my eyes. Ian Shea. That was terrible. I know. The next day. It's so weird being at school without Jita. Where the fuck is Jita? She's always gone. Off doing evil, probably. Hi, Nick. Okay, we can we can leave the sexy music behind now. Is everything all right? Hey, Ian Shade. And no, oh, everything isn't all right. What happened? I found this in my bag after gym class. What is it? St. Ethan's estate is on the verge of going bankrupt. It's only fair that you become Stella's pet now, Agatha. Oh no, Nick. You're being blackmailed? <laughs> Looks like it. It's clearly someone who knows everything about me. I knew this place was messed up, but I never thought someone I trusted would do this. You think it's someone close to you? It has to be. Else, who would... Else, how would they know... How, uh, uh, that's a confusing sentence for me. Else, how would they know about my family? I'm sorry, Nick. Did you tell anyone else about the note? No, and I don't think I'm going to either. I'm struggling to trust anyone right now, except you, Ian Shade. You're the only person I can let in. Nick, thank you for letting me in. We'll get through this together. I can't believe someone would do this to Nick. The blackmailer knows everyone's deepest secrets. Whoever they are, they must have a lot of power. Well, now you know. My family's situation isn't great right now. That's also part of what makes my relationship with Stella so complicated. Our families have always been close, but mine, has, mine had been doing a pretty good job of keeping our financial situation a secret. But when Stella and I started dating, she found out. She even tried to use it against me to stop me from breaking up with her. Looks like the blackmailer now has the same idea. What? Yeah. It's made removing her from my life nearly impossible. Nick, if Stella knows and has used it against you in the past... Do you think that note could be from her? I doubt it. 
She's more of a threaten you to your face type. Anyway, I don't want to think about either Stella or the note right now. I just want to take my mind off of all of it. Well, that I can definitely help with. And I know just the thing. Hmm, <laughs> should I be worried? You tell me. How about we go do something off campus together? Something that's completely out of your comfort zone. What's the wildest thing that you've always wanted to do but never had the courage? Well, there's a lighthouse just off of campus. It's kind of notorious for students sneaking off there on uh, dates and climbing to the top. Dates, huh? Sounds perfect. Have you taken somewhere, someone there before? I never got the chance. The lighthouse was closed and us students aren't allowed to go there anymore. But I've always imagined just taking someone special to the top. Not Stella. Definitely not Stella. But someone else has caught my attention lately. Then we should go. Really? But what if we're caught? We won't be, but... Just in case we are, you can blame it all on the rebellious new girl who's a horrible influence on you. The worst. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Let me show you that it's okay not to be perfect all the time. Okay, let's do it. This is my chance to see another side to Nick and deepen the connection between us. Um, do we want to have an adventure with Nick or do we want to have a day he won't forget? Romance? Whew. Romance at the lighthouse. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. Oh, that's a lighthouse, all right. How are you feeling, Nick? It's not too late to back out and keep your golden boy image intact. I don't think you would let me back out now even if I wanted to. You know me so well. Now, come on. We have a very romantic climb ahead of us. 15 minutes later and only halfway up. They look like they're just in a house. Oh me gosh. Who knew there'd be who knew there'd be so many steps? Oh come on. You're in high school. Who knew you had so who knew you had such bad breath control? I'll have to get you out on the lacrosse field sometime to really work on that stamina. I don't know. I'm sure we can think of some other activity that's good for stamina. Wink. Race you to the top. Bzew. This view. I see why this was such a popular spot for dates. It's so romantic, Nick. I know. I'm glad I, w I get to finally see it. All thanks to you. I wouldn't go that far. It was your idea, remember? But I wouldn't be here without you, Ian Shade. You're the one who gave me the guts to go through with it. You bring out this whole other side to me. A good side, I hope. Better than good. My whole life I felt as though I've been living for other people weighed down by their expectations. And now, it's just so hard to just cast all that aside. But you make me feel like I can live my life for me. You make me feel alive, Ian Shade. Nick, you make me feel alive too. And I totally get what you mean about people's expectations. 
When my dad reached out to me, I was so nervous about thinking that I would be a disappointment to him. So much so that I've been trying to prove myself to him by fitting in here ever since. But you make it all so easy, Nick. You make me feel like this is where I belong. Like I'm home. Uh oh, poke poke. <laughs> yeah, and shade. Yeah, Nick. I. You're amazing. And if it's okay with you, I'd really like to kiss you. It's more than okay with me, Nick. Oh my gosh, Nick and I are about to have our first kiss. Tell Nick to stop smothering you. That, that would ruin the moment. Bite him. <laughs> that would be a great option. Um. Yeah, I think unforgettable might be the right. Might be the right move. They got a kiss. It just is what it is. Um. Nick leans in cautiously, hesitating slightly before brushing his soft lips against mine, until our lips finally connect in a sweet but passionate kiss. Everything around us fades into the background, until all that's left is just him and I and this connection that we have between us. Nick. His kiss is full of longing as he takes his time, savoring my lips. Until, head spinning and heart fluttering, he pulls back to meet my eyes. Yeah, and shade. Nick. Wow. I know! What a great day. That evening, uh, we're done being romantic. Come on, Ian Shade, focus. This project Miss Six Wings assigned is important. Nope, <laughs> completely quits, immediately stops working. But I can't stop worrying about Nick and Jita. I need to put a stop to this blackmail, and that means getting to the bottom of who's behind it. Agatha. What could the connection be? Why is the blackmailer using her name? Unless, maybe it is just a coincidence. Agatha could mean anything. At this rate, I'll never get this research project done. Maybe Miss Six Wings will be able to help me find a starting point to focus on. I should go find her. Please don't. Please don't. Fuck. Um. Hi, Ian Shade. How are you? Are you settling in okay? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with the project you assigned. I'm having trouble finding a good place to start with my research. What do you think about looking into the founders of St. Sebastian? That's an interesting angle, Ian Shade. But you might have trouble finding anything about them. Why is that? I notice there's a lot of secrecy surrounding them. And no one seems interested in talking about it. You're right, Ian Shade. There are a lot of secrets at this school. And some of our students, although good, could definitely get caught up in them. But in the end, the truth will always be exposed, one way or another. Wait, what? Does Mrs. Six Wings know something about the Founder's shady past? If so, maybe she knows something that could help me figure out whether Agatha is connected to the blackmailer's identity. Either way, 
I should find out what she knows. The closer I get to uncovering the blackmailer, the sooner my friends can go back to their lives. I need to know who Agatha is. And now. Um, get the inside scoop from Miss Six Wings and save my friends, or find out the truth about Founder's dark past. And I, I want to do the second one. Fuck my friends. Fuck the friends. I want the dark past. In that case, I have a question. Do you know about Sebastian Rink's wife, Agatha? I do! She didn't deserve her fate! Her fate? What happened to her? Have you not heard the rumors about Sebastian? The Shade? I heard that he killed someone. <gasps> Don't tell me! He killed his wife? So the story goes! The rumor is that he killed Agatha to be with his mistress! But of course, there's no proof of that! Do you know why someone might use Agatha's name as an alias? Well, some say it's been used throughout the school's history as a code of source. Students supposedly use her name when telling others to follow a moral path. So that's why the blackmailer is using her name as a way to get into Jita and Nick's heads. Thank you, Miss Six Wings. And Merry Christmas. I should get back to my dorm. <laughs> hey, Jita. Hey, did you like find any new information? I think so, but I'm still working on it. Whoever the blackmailer is, they know how to play this well. Like, thank you for trying, Ian Shade. I just spoke to my mom and like she said there's no way of knowing when dad will be like released from jail or whatever. I can't skip any more classes. Uh, I guess I just have to pray the blackmailer doesn't reveal my secrets. Don't worry, Jita. We'll find their identities soon enough. Whoever it is, they're among us, watching every step of every student. We'll find them. The next day. Oh my god, are we going to the library? I'm so glad to see you back, Jita. Time to show the blackmailer that you aren't to be messed with. I wish you were in our history class. Miss Six Wings is honestly the coolest teacher I've ever had. She's like awesome, right? I had her for history last year. I can totally understand like why she's your favorite teacher. This is for me. I were as tall as the door. I like see you at lunch. Of course. Where is Stella? I picked Stella. I want Stella. Guess what? I've made some notes for our research project. Damn, look at you being the perfect student. Let's take a look at them on our free period. Oh. <gasps> Isn't it odd? Oh, thank goodness she's fucking dead. Mrs. Six Wings is never late to class. You're right. Good morning, class. I'm Mr. Kingsnorth, your new history teacher. You're our new history teacher? What about Miss Six Wings? When will she be back? Miss Six Wings won't be coming back. What? Bum, 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 dead. Fucking dead. A shocking revelation leaves you shaken, but thankfully Garrett is here to save the day. However, how long until another scandal strikes at St. Sebastian? 
Yeah, you finish one chat. Do you really just get a gem per chapter? That's uh, that's pretty insane. You'd have to grind out like choosing the worst option over and over and over to be able to get one playthrough of a good. And what are these shards? Like I'm earning these shards. Oh, I can turn them in. 300 shards equal three. I get three gems. Wow. Sponsor content gets the bonus content. See, I wasn't able to really browse. I didn't understand the, the story selection of this. I really could only find a certain amount. Of, I'm sure there's a better way to browse the stories than just the front page, but that's all I looked at. Okay. This is the last chapter for the day. We're going to finish this chapter. And then I'm going to give my voice a nice break. And then the plan is uh, to finish it tomorrow. Uh, most likely. You could have picked to um, be dating girls at the beginning. I think you could just be a lesbian if you wanted to. But I went, I went with the boys. Play the stories that are based off of other properties until you had a few hundred gems, then play something more interesting. Interesting. I'm just gonna give, I'm just gonna give episode a million dollars uh, buying gems instead. Yo, our new English teacher? What did I do? What about Miss Six Wings? When will she be back? Miss Six Wings won't be coming back. He looks like um, Subway Jared. Right? What? Uh. Uh, we're, we're all here to address something that su surprised many of you. Since yesterday afternoon, Mrs. Six Wings has gone missing. She left no notes, nor did she even inform anyone. But because of this, we have brought Mr. Kingsnurth. He's the best when it comes to teaching the language. Wasn't she a history teacher, though? Uh, and we're not sure where Miss Six Wings is now, but this ain't surprising, as she always was known for her irresponsible behavior. You just shit talk the missing teacher. <laughs> I can't believe this. Miss Six Wings was not irresponsible. Are you running and running on stage? No, we're running out of the. Ian Shay, are you all right? Garrett, Miss Six Wings wasn't irresponsible. I know this has never happened before. Maybe she didn't want to continue teaching at this school. But then why did she leave without telling anyone? Can we get more intense music? Like, uh... Drama? We gotta be, like, thinking about something at least. Are you kidding me? Okay. There's more to it than they're telling us. And I'm afraid it's not good. Hey. Now. He's, it looks like he's kissing her eyeball. <laughs> it's okay. She'll be back soon. I don't want you to worry. They've given the rest of the day off. But I'm not even... They Wait, they gave everyone a day off on the fourth day of class because one of the teachers left? But I'm not even happy about it. What if we, you, oh, excuse me. What if we utilize the day off properly? Let's get you away from school. It'll help ease your mind. Oh shit, holy shit. I wanna jump off a cliff with Garrett. I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else. What do you say, Ian Shade? Would you come away with me? Uh, fuck yes, I will. Yeah, I'm going. 
I'm jumping off that cliff. There's a waterfall at the school? Yeah, it's somewhere in the forest. You know, somewhere in the dark, mystical forest. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I think that... I think that sounds like a great idea. Come on. Garrett, this place looks beautiful. It does. You're not even looking at the lake. Oh, this has to be romantic. I'm still on drama. There we go. You're not even looking at the lake. That's because my view is more beautiful. Teehee. Come on. I have to show you something. Whoa. This is high. How do you even know of this place? It's my secret spot. I've never actually brought someone here. But he brought me. Now we must jump into the lake. No way, I can't. Do you trust me? Let's jump. Splash. Yeah, she's standing. It can't be that deep. <laughs> it can't be that deep. That was... Exhilarating. The most free I've ever felt. Thank you for sharing your special place with me. I wouldn't want to be here with anyone else. There we go. Yep. The next day... Uh, hold on. It's been two days since Miss Six Wings has gone missing, but no one seems to care. It's as if she only taught for a couple of days and then moved on, and no everyone's forgotten about her. Boink. Well, be careful there. Sorry, I wasn't watching my step. It's okay, but you don't look fine at all. Are you worried about something? It's almost like I'm worried about a thousand things. Uh, let's do secret- I want to learn about secret societies, come on. Like the secret societies and everything you told me about them. I thought you'd be more worried about Miss Six Wings' disappearance. According to the principal, it's not strange at all. Something about Dr. Wright Wraithburn's speech seemed off. Do you really think she just ran off? Definitely not, but I don't understand how they're being so calm about a missing teacher. Woo. I'm feeling it this chapter. Woo! Hey, Ian Shade, like, what are you doing? We're talking about all the weird things that have been happening since this semester started. You know what, Ian Shade? I think we should investigate. Really? What did you have in mind? A little snooping never hurt anyone. I think this is a great idea. We might find clues about the blackmailer as well. What do you think, Ian Shade? Are you in? I know a way to get into the staff entrance. That we can find some clues in her apartment. And we can go incognito in black stylish outfits to take our investigation to the next level? Holy shit. Uh... 
Back out and disappoint your friends or spend money to get some spy outfits. You're right. Let's go. Wait, like, not like this. Like, we must investigate in style. Damn. Uh, that's what I call uh, an outfit for investigating. Wow. This is so cool. We must... We must wear... Th this is so cool. We must wear this so no one can recognize us. What a Stefan thing to say. I like, what do you say, Ian Shade? Should we start our investigation in style? She... Oh my god. What? I ha- what? I have to pay more? For the cool clothes? Come on. I mean, I'm paying- clearly I'm paying the money. But I just paid money for the outfit. Ian Shade, you're like the best. Let's go find some skeletons from the school's closet or whatever. Oh, wait. This uh, faculty housing is really creepy. Let's keep walking. Mrs. Six Wings' apartment is even smaller than our dorm rooms. Does this sound... This is kind of sneaky. Better. Better, better. Look at this. Is this her journal? Looks like it. The sins of the founders. What was she researching on? Oh, could it have been the sins of the founders, maybe? The thing you just read? Probably the founding families. There's nothing more written in it. The page, the pages of this book are torn. She definitely had a lot to say. Do you think she went missing because she was about to expose the founders? Let's get out of here before we get caught. Let's go. Thank you for walking me back, even though you didn't have to. Did you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from the forest. Shouldn't we go check? Um, are you sure? We're here to investigate, after all. Who knows what clues m uh, might await us there. Stefan and I tiptoe into the forest, following the direction where the noises are coming from. My heart beats faster than it ever has. Uncovering this school's secrets has been tougher than I thought. Look, I told you about the secret societies. I knew they exist. I know. But what is their motive? We'll, we'll only find out if we hear what they're saying. Stefan's right. I need to see what this initiation ritual looks like, and... Who all are a part of this cult? Jeez, I'm being milked for gems over here. Holy shit. This has been an expensive chapter. Stefan, this looks very creepy. Just make sure they don't hear us, okay? Oh, shit. There he is. We're all here today to continue our initiation ceremony. Repeat after me. Our father's bond is as strong as ours. 
We will continue fulfilling our duties towards this bond. This is insane. I can't see who that leader is. Do you think it's a student? How did I know? Who's there? Oh, shit. I don't think that was a good idea. Can't believe we, we saw that. I'm in shock. I never expected him to be part of such a cult. At St. Sebastian, uh, you should always expect the unexpected. You're right. But you need to keep what we saw to yourself because the secret societies can be really dangerous. I'm only now realizing just how deep our investigations have taken us. Good night, Stefan. What the fuck just happened? What was that? Garrett? I believe we need to talk, Ian Shade. I don't know. You could have told me. I had warned you about the woods, but you never listen. This is not all fun and games, Ian Shade. You can't play a detective here and not get in trouble. I need you to be careful and steer clear of any such suspicious activities. I've had enough of this, Garrett. I can't be careful if I don't know what I have to be careful of. Why do you have to be so cryptic? Garrett sighs, clearly fighting his own conscience. Touch. I step forward, taking his hand in mine. Garrett. Uh, whatever it is, I will not judge you. It's not about not trusting you, Ian Shade, but the less you know, the more you'll be out of danger. Just tell me, Garrett. I want to know. I want to know. This is a custom. Oh, this is a custom passed on from our fathers. And there are some very powerful parents at the school that take secrecy seriously. So snooping around will rub them the wrong way. Look at me, Ian Shade. I don't comply with his command, and he moves his hand up and wraps around my waist. I can't keep trying to keep you safe if you won't cooperate, Ian Shade. Why do you want to keep me safe? Do you even care about me? Would you let me show you how much I care? I'm completely hypnotized, like I'm under his spell. I want to see what Garrett wants to show me. I mean, I'm, we're in this deep, right? I don't want him to get me kicked out of school. Show me. Garrett grabs me by the waist. As his lips are on mine, I find myself getting lost in the moment, in his touch, in the kiss. I've never cared about anyone at this school, not until you walked in. And I want you to stay here. That will be impossible if you keep snooping. The sense of right or wrong leaves me. I don't even pay attention to what Garrett has to say. I lean in, linking my lips with him again. As the adrenaline rushes through my veins, I can't help but think about how good being bad can feel sometimes. And where did Miss Six Wings go? I wondered about that for a moment as well. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Good night, Ian Shade. I decided to take Garrett's warning seriously and put the events of last night behind me. After all, even 
If I was initially against coming to this school, I've made friends that I don't want to leave behind now. Not to forget the special connections I've formed with Garrett and Nick. I want to see what they lead to. <sighs> Good morning! Before we begin today's class, Miss the Second, the principal, has asked to see you in his office. What? What does the principal have to say? That guy said, has something to say. May I come in? Miss the Second? Of course. How are you settling in our school? Is that a romantic? Might not be the right uh, music for this. <laughs> How about... Is that what he wanted to know? Um, I love this school. It's been brought to my attention that you've been breaking the dorm's lights off timings. I wanted to see you personally. As you know, Miss Ian Shade, you were given admission as a favor to your father. Our school only keeps students that will prove to be the brightest citizens of this country. And your grades wouldn't have matched our criteria if it wasn't for your father's generous donation. Is he calling me lazy? So I'd like to see you abiding by the school's rules or he's threatening me. I'm not going to just stand here and listen to his vile. I'm not going to listen to the fucking principal of the school. I'm well, aw I'm well aware of the rules, Dr. Wraithburn. However, I'm also aware of the concessions a few students tend to get. And I will not take this favor of yours for granted. I did come here against my wishes, but now I do want to stay. Uh, well, good. Nothing that happens at this school misses my eyes, uh, Yan Shade. Not even the things that happen in the dark. So you be careful. The principal knows about our investigation? What will happen now? Enjoying the story so far? Want to learn more about us? Check out our Facebook page. Plus, more the more likes we get, the more stories we can write. I love Facebook. Take me there. No, that's okay. Okay, we'll ask again in a few chapters. Okay. How are we feeling about School of Secrets? I gotta say, I can't say the story is as gripping as Bad Boy Bachelor or Kill My Love, but it has been fun. They really did not do a good job of setting up these secrets. Take the Facebook path. Okay. For those who are just here for episode... That is the last chapter for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and finish it because I don't want to ruin my voice today. Uh, but I do have a lot of stuff to read. Um, so I'm going to hang out for a bit longer. So, yeah. That's it for episode for today. Where's the boning? They don't really bone. They like to kiss. They like to dance. And I remember in one of the stories that we did, there was definitely some, like, uh, like they were dancing in the sheets, I feel like. Weren't they, like, like, standing up in the bed next to each other or something like that? The bone three dudes in both the other stories. They don't, like, actually bone, though. They just, you know... The implication is there. Uh, yeah, if you want to catch up on the story before tomorrow, this VOD will not be on YouTube in time, but it will be on Twitch. You're going to have to watch it on Twitch because I can't upload it until tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but there will also there will be a stream. I did a stream the other day that should be up after I'm done. But I'm going to read some things and just uh, hang out. 
They had the awesome backdrop that was just a top-down view of the bed, so it looked like they were laying in bed even though they were clearly standing. That I remember. We boned in Bad Boy Bachelor. You know, why don't we, like, since I'm not doing a nut, like, I'm not going to continue, one of the things we could do is look through the stories. You know, you guys could help me find the next one. Yeah, the whole game is silent. Uh, that's kind of why I'm, um... I make my own, or I put, play my own music and whatnot. More riding the bus with Strange Dad. I think Strange Dad is going to end up being the villain. The one I almost picked. Last, se I almost picked Hot Mansion because the name fucking hilarious. Find yourself living with a hot bachelor for a sexy dating show competition in a fancy manner, but there's a twist. A lot of uh, competitions. How do I get to the other... Oh, here we go. I didn't even see this. Horror or thriller? Thriller. Okay, yeah, these look way better. Home wrecker, awesome. You belong to me. Don't go there. Sounds good. The hottest football player in college is eager to have you. It'd be nice to do something in college, actually. Uh, after rejecting his advances numerous times, he begins to seek revenge on you and your friends. Bookmarking that one. These are no, these are free, no gems. Ooh. When a secret affair turns into a game of hide and seek, you regret every decision you've ever made as you fight for your life. As long as it doesn't say earn gems, it means it's free. Okay, that's good to know. Holy shit. <laughs> Kingpin of the Mafia. A cold and ruthless mafia kingpin, kill or be killed, is what Lewis lives by until he meets S Serena, a sexy, mysterious woman who turns his life upside down. Save that one. That's a great one. Stalker next door. Some of these, I don't want to do one that's ongoing because I want to be able to finish it. Ooh. Survive the night. Someone's got it out for you and your friends. Figure out why and what's happening before it's too late. Can you survive the night? That sounds good. Are there anywhere dudes smooch dudes? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. But I... I don't know that I've seen one where you play as a man. I'm sure they're out there. There's not the most popular format in episode. Mafia 1 was a male main character? Okay. I'm just a girl. Ooh. Amethyst, Amethyst was a normal girl until she was, was lured into a car and abducted by a charming, demented man... A charming and demented mad, madman. Can the persistent, winsome detective Bannister find her before it's too late? Oh, shit. Yeah, not gonna remove that. 78, that's too long. That's too long. I would like to thank the following people for subscribing during this, uh, uh, I was gonna call it a Kill My Love stream, but it's an episode stream. Nico Bun, uh, Cincy Red Legs, Pepperoni Ravioli, uh, yeah, yep, the Pivots XXD, and Brandon J Baker. I think those are all the new subs. Thank you very much. Uh, and Utman 1988, thanks for gifting that sub to Seismic Coin. I did not finish the story. The the story I'm gonna finish the story tomorrow. I'm I'm giving my uh voice a break. 
really. I didn't want to. I, I want to be careful. <laughs> Abigail Fay is stuck at her boarding school with friends who don't really care about her. What happens when she is offered an eerie opportunity of a lifetime? That's uh, interesting. Oh, great title. Dirty Rotten Cheerleaders. Your head cheerleader and the most popular girl at school. When a new girl forms dangerous a dangerous attraction to you, will you resort to murder to keep your crown? Fuck yes, I will. I'd like to thank the following people for resubscribing during the stream. Muja Bunny, Halkion Artistry, Mark Marcus 16, Zero, Sephiro, Gilly Spy, Geek of Love, Little Green Witch. We got uh, Unnamed Trans Girl, A Friendly Stand, Jeffrey the Hedgehog 1, When Geeks Craft, Booze Cannon, Mimba 666, Coco Mean, Little Sushi Roll, Left to Joint, Gothic Novella, Poetic Image Not Found, and Burnt Macaron. Thank you, everybody, for the resubs. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that one sounds awesome. This is honestly the new front runner. Dirty Rotten Cheerleaders might be the best option so far. Oh, shit. Maternal instincts. There's no one Leah loves more than her daughter, V. When V gets kidnapped by an obsessive ex, Leah will... No, okay. I thought the mom was, like, tying up the daughter or something. I don't... It's not as fun. Holy shit. That guy looks jacked. <laughs> I was a monster, and she was too innocent for my world. But that didn't stop me. One taste of her kept me going back for more, even if it killed us. Cannot play that one. Oh, good. Okay, 68. There's another reason to not do it. My bad lesbian stepsister. <laughs> Killer desire. Oh. Oh. One prank, five deaths. A group of teens decides to prank an innocent girl... Which leads to five mysterious deaths. Who killed who? Awesome. Thank you for the bits, Ryan Rory, 615. Oh, you sent me uh, a number of bits. Thank you for contributing to the gym fund. So CJ Coma. Happy Kaiju. Xaphic Seawitchks. Soft Crisps. Uh, Lunier TV. Piro a rat. Thank you guys for the bits. Also, a study in amber. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Kai Fuge. Thanks for the prime sub. Not Spider Man 1. Thank you for the bits. AV Fusion. Thank you for the 500 bits. For the gym fund. Mr. Jim's fund. You know, I wonder if the larger episode ones have story branching and aren't actually that episodes. That's an interesting... Uh, that's an interesting thought. Like, you don't actually play all 60-something episodes. Your choices send you down a path of a certain thing. I don't know enough about uh, episodes to know. But that is an interesting theory. I kind of feel like it's just 67 episodes but I really I don't know Lana Keith 7 thank you for the five dollars for the gyms thank you so much for another episode stream I've been meaning to do it for so long and uh, I finally I finally got my shit together Joy Malie thank you for the seven dollars and change episode gyms piggy bank fund uh, Cog Neto thank you for subscribing Amex Wolf thank you so very much for the $20. I, you know, it, that covered some gems. I <laughs> covered some gems. Hey, Ian. Oh my gosh. New episode time. Too bad I'm working. However, here's some splurging money for those mucho needed gems. Also remember to punch. I have punched nobody so far. I did, I did 
assault someone in a dance-off, which is uh, similar. Catch you in the VOD. Thank you so much, Amex Wolf. And Mo Chicken, thank you so much for the $20. I don't know how much gyms are, so here's something. Good luck getting those answers. I feel like I have more questions than answers. Or maybe I don't even have enough questions. I wish I had more questions. Yeah, I miss... I'm, I'm sad that the bully got uh, axed. The bully is no longer... I even chose her as my lab partner. So... Food videos coming up? Probably. I don't have anything right now, but, but probably. I actually... What I'm going to do... Part of what I'm doing after this stream is trying to think about what my next video is because I'm not totally sure. Wanted to date Stella. She was a pretty good character. I, I tend to like the bullies. I like the mean girls. Always, honestly, always my favorite characters. Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Yes, P.O. Box is open. Um, I don't have my thing. You can visit brutalmoose.com slash P.O. Box for all your P.O. Box information plans. Fallout and Pokemon Cookbook? Maybe. I'll consider it. I'll consider I have some food. I know kind of what I'm going to do next time I do a food video. I just don't know what I'm going to do it. No Halloween plans yet, but I mean, one prank, five deaths sounds like it would be a pretty good Halloween story. A lot of these. Motorcycle Club, A Twisted Love. No. Born for Sin. This one looks like a boy story. Boy Undone. Mayhem, Missions, and Madness. A life he's been craving and a love he's left behind. Because once you've tasted real darkness, you can't turn back, right? I think the prank one sounds like my favorite so far. Slay me? That's pretty good. Vampires. I could do without the vampires. Some goofy music. All right. All right. I think I've found enough stories for next time. Tomorrow, at some point in the day, I will be back to finish this uh, episode. If you need to recap, please check the VOD on Twitch. It will show up tomorrow um, on uh, youtube.com slash moose2. But uh, it won't show up until probably after I'm done streaming. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to go put uh, yesterday's VOD up on the archive as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm excited to be doing this again. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to go not talk for a few hours. Bye-bye. <laughs>